says hello here on the island. Welcome to Lola's Lanai. Now what? Guess what? It's the greatest resort on the whole island. I'm Rosa, and I live here with my grandmother, Lola. I just call her Lola. <laughs> okay, so we live right here at Lola's Lanai. I love when new friends come to visit. So, welcome to our island home. <laughs> I'm really glad you came here. Know what? When you come to stay with me and Lola, we want you to feel like family. Would you like to be my family? Yes! <laughs> oh, goody! And guess what else? Here on the island, we call our family Ohana. Can you say that with me? Ohana! That's it. Ohana means family. We are one big family, even if we don't live in the same house or share the same mom and dad. Hey, I know what we need to do. We need to celebrate you being my Ohana. Stand up like me and let's sing a song. sit down. <laughs> so, maybe Lola Slanai looks different than where you live. Know what? I want to show you something. Look! We have lots of pretty flowers and big waves that crash on the shore. Oh, I almost forgot. Lola has two rules for all of our Ohana at the Lanai. They're really good rules, too. <laughs> Rule number one is to be kind. Can you wave at me with one hand and say, be kind? Be kind! Yay! Lola says that families listen to each other. One way you can be kind to your ohana is by listening to each other. And rule two is be safe. Everyone wave at me with the other hand and say, be safe. Be safe! Okay, so the island is full of amazing things. But there are some things that could hurt you if you aren't careful. So, Hana, <laughs> you can stay safe by staying close to me on our adventures and by keeping your hands to yourself along the way. That's it. Those are Lola's two rules. Easy peasy. <laughs> I say we head out on an adventure. This is one of my favorite places. And guess what? Lola asked me to bring you here. She needs to make some more lays. 
like mine, to welcome everybody to the island. But she ran out of flowers. So, would you help me pick some? Yes! Oh, yippee! Lola said we each need to pick three pink flowers. Do you see any pink flowers? Yeah! I do, too. Let's pick three pink flowers. It's fun to pretend. Pretend to pick flowers and then count with me. <laughs> One, two, three. I have three, do you? Yeah. Yay. Now we have to find two blue flowers. Do you see any blue flowers around? Yeah. Here's one. You can pretend to pick two blue flowers, too. Here we go. Let's count again. <laughs> One, two. So now we have to get five yellow flowers. Oh, this is getting harder. Do you see any yellow flowers? Yeah. I did it. I found one. Now you can help me pick four more flowers. One, two, two three, three, four. four. I have my five yellow flowers. Do you? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> know what? We need to take all of these flowers back to Lola so she can make more lays. I have a special way to get back to the lanai. Know what it is? Do what I do and say what I say. I love the island. I love the island. And dancing the hula. And dancing the hula. So let's go back. So let's go back. To see Lola. To see Lola. Oh, look, we made it. There's Lola. Everyone say, Aloha, Lola. Aloha, Lola. <laughs> Aloha. Oh, we are so happy to have you join us on the island. And thank you for your help today. Since you're family while you're here, I want to show you some pictures from our family photo album. Okay, if you're ready to hear about your family from long ago, let me see you click on your listening ears. Click, click. click. Great! Now, you also need to put on your special eyes. Zoop, zoop. Oh, that's perfect. Now, let's see. We're going to start with our very first family. This is Adam. He's the very first person in our ohana. That's how we say family around here. God made Adam, but then he realized that it wasn't good for Adam to be all alone. So God made a wife for Adam and her name was Eve. They were the first family. Adam and Eve lived in a garden God had made for them and their family was perfect. But one day, Adam and Eve disobeyed God and it hurt their family. God still loved them, but because they disobeyed, they couldn't live in God's special garden anymore. Soon, Adam and Eve had their first baby, a little boy named Cain. Then Eve had another baby boy named Abel. When the boys were older, Abel worked as a shepherd, taking care of the family animals, and Cain worked as a farmer. Let me see you pretend to pick vegetables like Cain did as a farmer. Back then, people brought gifts to God to show him how much they loved him. Cain brought some of the fruits he had grown to give to God, but Abel brought the very best of his animals. God was so happy that Abel had brought his very best but God was not happy that Cain hadn't brought his very best fruits. This made Cain angry. God told Cain that if he would do what's right, God would be happy with his gift. God also told Cain not to let his anger make him do wrong things. Can you show me an angry face like Cain may have had? Arr! Oh my, you look so angry. Now, let's get back to our story. Well, Cain stayed angry and did not obey God. Cain asked Abel to go out in the field with him. And while they were there, Cain attacked his brother and killed him. 
When Cain hurt his brother, did he do the right thing or the wrong thing? The wrong thing. That's right. You see, no family is perfect. Even though the very first family did wrong things, God still loved them. Our families sometimes do wrong things too, and God still loves us the same. I'm so glad that you are a part of the family that God has given me. I want you to remember that God gave you a family that loves you very much. Let me hear you say this after me. God, God gave me, gave me a family. A family. Great job. Aloha, Ohana. Aloha, Lola. Know what? Guess what? I'm so glad that God gave me Lola and all of you as my Ohana family. Okay, so say this after me. God, God gave, me gave me a family. A family. You sounded great, Ohana. I say we stand up and sing a song together to celebrate. Everyone, stand on up with me. Each other, love each other, as brothers and sisters, as brothers and sisters, in honor others, in honor others, more than yourself, more than yourself. Romans 12, 10, Romans 12, 10. God gave us family, we can help and love. We gifts to each other from up above. sisters and we can treat others like they are more important than we are that's what God wants us to do so now would you like a cool treat yes yay I'm going to use my shell phone to call Anu he's a cool chameleon with some tasty treats hold your pretend shell phones like this and when I count to three let's all whisper Anu one Two, three. Ahanu! Aloha, Ohana. If you can tell me what you learned on the island today, you can get a tasty snow cone. So let's get busy building your cool treat now. Tell me, did God give Adam a snow cone or a family? A family. Yes, God gave Adam a family, and he gave us a family, because it's not good for us to be alone. Let's load up this first snowball with yummy syrup. 
Okay, now it's time for your next snowball and your next question. Did the people in Adam's family do wrong things? Yes. You're right. Adam and Eve and their sons, Cain and Abel, did wrong things. Their family wasn't perfect, and neither is mine, but God still loves us. God loves the family he gave you, too. Let's load up this snowball with some yummy syrup. It's looking delicious, but I think it needs one more scoop of ice. And you know what that means. One last question. Who gave you your family? Grandma Lola or God? God. Yes, God gave you your family. And just like Lola told us, we are part of God's big family too. Now it's time to put the yummy syrup on this last snowball. This looks perfect. Only the best for my Ohana. Enjoy your snow cone. Aloha. Aloha, Anu. Thank you. Everyone grab your spoons. And let's eat up these snow cones. Mmm, so yummy. Did you like your cool treat from Anu, Ohana? Yes. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you for being my Ohana, my family. I have to get back to the front desk and help Lola, but you know what? God gave you a family because he loves you so much. He gave you your family at home and all of us here to be your Ohana family. You can say this after me, okay? God, God gave, me gave me a family. A family. That's it. I had so much fun with you on the island today. I do hope you will come back to see me again next week. Aloha, Ohana.